Hey guys, hope everyone is doing awesome. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So I'm gonna be doing something on my channel that has been on my mind for a while. You guys see getting all like smoky. It is super, super humid out here. It just rained. I've cleaned my lens off three times. Let's try to do it again. Let's do one more <laughs> lens cleaning. Oh my God. But I've been wanting to revisit and do some updated reviews from things that I reviewed way back in the beginning stages on my channel. My hair has changed and gone through so many phases since I started YouTube. The review that we're gonna be doing today, I actually did when I was still in the early, early days of growing out my texturizer. So we are gonna be using the generic from Sally's Matrix Conditioning Balm Dupe. Baby Ashley really, really liked this product back in the day, so I'm hoping that with my current curls and kind of the little bit of damage I have sprinkled in there, I'm hoping that this stuff does a really good job. I first did this review on June 15th, 2011. We've come a long way. Look at this lighting. It was awesome. My hair was so soft and easy to detangle. This cut my detangler time in half. And this is the only thing that I used to detangle my hair with in the shower last time. I know I'm gonna repurchase it because I love it. So I'm probably gonna use this up next week just because I don't have that precious. So based on that little blast from the past, I apparently loved this stuff back in the day. Again, now that I'm looking at the video, I was not in the beginning stages of growing up my texturizer. I had been transitioning in that video, you guys. The twist that I had was like one of my go-to styles for growing out my hair while not having to do the big chop. When I first reviewed this, I was well into a year into growing out my hair and going back to my natural curls. I had a lot of experience with good slip with this product. It seemed to really blow me away when it came to the conditioning. So I'm very excited to see how we get on over 12 years later at this point. I don't think I've ever used it on my completely natural hair. Now a lot of things have changed since that video, a, a whole lot. But one of the things that has changed when it comes to hair care is that I don't really go to Sally's like that anymore. I go maybe once or twice a year. So I am like 99% sure they still have this. This has been around since I was like an infant basically. We are gonna be detangling this stuff, shampooing, all that good prepping oh <laughs> I am gonna be calling on this stuff to perform some um some magic because my hair is uh not doing great remember how we talked recently about how we got some mechanical damage um yeah this is not all the damage of course like my hair just has a leave-in conditioner in it and that's it so that's of course gonna make it look a lot frizzier than usual but in general it just is not a good uh situation that we've got going on right now with the state of my hair. I am very, very close to considering being a straight hair natural, you guys, because I can't, I can't do this for much longer. The tangles, the just, we're not having a good time lately. We're not having a good time. I'm hoping that whatever magic that previous me experienced with this product, I hope it happens again because I need it. My hair is just, it's not good. That's really cool that they do the comparison between their version and the original so you can see it side by side. One of the things I really liked about the texture of this is that balmy, weird, thick, gloppy consistency. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that when it comes to deep conditioners, I don't tend to like thick deep conditioners. I'm low porosity, so if something is really, really thick, it tends to just sit on top of my strands. But something about this very particular kind of a glue stick like the part that still can move <laughs> but in a good way like that thick gloppy slightly tacky sticky ish type of texture this is making me so nostalgic what the hell the smell of this reminds me of the products that my mom used to use on me when i was a little girl and stuff that people at the salon would use in my hair like that kind of just inoffensive but like mass produced smell it's like comforting like you know it's not organic you know it's not this or that but there's just something about this it's very like comforting it's the same type of feeling i get when i smell like baby powder fragrances it's so just like like a hug hoping that that is the experience that we have today because i need so so many things this is one where it definitely benefits me to either use my hot head heating cap to let it penetrate and get in there or to make sure that i let it sit for 
at least mm, a couple hours so I can get into my strands. So that is the game plan. I'm going to take a little mini nap while this is marinating. I'm going to be doing a trim soon and then I'm going to be doing a couple of things with my channel that I had planned already for September and October but maybe towards like the end of October I am planning to straighten my hair like my usual when the weather gets chilly and dry straightening. But depending on how it goes, I might keep it straight for longer. I might do a repeat straightening even because y'all, I need a break. I just, it's, yeah, I need a break. So I don't want to get heat damage. And I don't want to worry about my hair reverting easily. That's the only thing about when I straighten my hair. If there's any moisture in my scalp, my strands are going to be like, oh, hello, the curls are coming back. So I have to think about like going to the gym, my scalp sweating. So I am uh, going to have a interesting time of that. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. But I'm really getting to a point lately where I'm looking for a more longer term change than just like a couple of months of straight hair. I looked at the Brazilian keratin treatment and I see most versions are still using formaldehyde so no thank you to that. I thought that once that had come to light they would take it out and find like an alternative but I guess not. I did see a more safe version of the treatment but that's being done by like certain stylists in big cities. Like, I can't go anywhere around here that does it, I don't think. So, I don't know, you guys. And I definitely don't want to put, like, a relaxer or texturizer type chemical in my hair, especially with all this coming out lately. I already have fibroids that, you know, that could have been a contributing factor. So, I do not want to add on to my plate with any other trips down that lane. I just feel like I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. We'll see, you guys. If worse comes to worse... If I do get heat damage, it's hair. It'll grow back. I am definitely, definitely contemplating being um, a straight hair girl for like, for a minute. This stuff is making my curls look nice. It's softening a little bit, but not giving me that like, ooh, type of moisture that I get from some other products. What it's contending with right now might take a little longer for me to get that feeling. It will definitely give you an arm workout getting this <laughs> out of the bottle, you guys. I'm squeezing, squeezing. Oop, come here. It definitely doesn't have any slip for me. Maybe if my hair was in better condition and my cuticle just didn't feel so rough. But because my hair is so just not in a good place right now, my cuticle is very raised. Even with my hair being really damp right now, it's not, you know gliding it has enough of a glide of a slip for me to just get it on these strands y'all i am squeezing with all my might like it legit hurts the original comes in a jar and i can see why because this stuff in a bottle is like i feel like i'm on like freaking american gladiator or something trying to get this stuff out the bottle oh my goodness yeah this does not feel softening or conditioning and again, I did use this previously on texturized hair. My hair is softer when it has a chemical applied to it because it has literally broken down the bonds of my curl pattern, which is not great. And my naturally coarse strands are basically, you know, just chemicalized and <laughs> all that stuff. It's not coating my hair in like that, like moisturized way that some other deep conditioners usually do. This is what it's looking like. It feels very, very heavy on my hair. So that's interesting. It is helping to remove some of the shed hair that is caught in here. A little comparison of the two sides. Here's our freshly washed out the shower, tangled, just not, not doing great side. And then here is our conditioning balm side. I have a piece of hair in my eye. It hurts so bad, y'all. Struggle city right now. I am going to recover my eyesight did i get it y'all apply product to this side and then <laughs> i will be back in a couple hours show you guys how things are looking and feeling yeah we, we're gonna take a little nap
you guys the nap turned into me laying down on the couch and just like going to sleep for the night it was so uncomfortable I slept in my contacts so my eyes are super dry so after I style my hair I'm switching over to my glasses as you can see I end up adding my hothead heating cap which I also slept in not dangerous or anything to do that once the heat is gone you know it's literally just like a little funny little mushroom hat basically hopefully we got some nice super soft moisturized hair out of that and definitely feels softer than it did when I first applied it still don't really have any like slip like my hair has a lot of resistance right now I'm hoping that like I mentioned in my first review that when combined with the water from my shower this is gonna be real nice as I'm rinsing it out and nice and slippery hop in the shower and then see what our final results are 12 years later when using the conditioning balm I ended up leaving in like oh I gotta sneeze I ended up leaving in like 30% of the deep conditioner on the ends of my hair just because I just feel like they are just going through it so it felt right to leave it in but once combined with the water I was able to detangle a bit more it was kind of weird I would have to like let the water run over it detangle a bit do that process over again add some more water detangle doing it little by little really did help I feel like I removed a lot of tangles which is great my hair feels softer it feels conditioned the parts where I did rinse it all out like my scalp and at the front sections feels pretty good it doesn't feel like, you know, the softest it's ever felt or anything like that. But compared to where we started at, I will take it. Not too bad. So, I don't know if it's because just my hair is just not having a great time right now or what. But I definitely feel that I had a better experience with this when I used it way back in my transitioning days. But overall, this is like a solid, pretty good product. If the price is still under $10, you get a lot for 16 ounces, which is great. I think I have like a little less than half because I had to use a lot for my hair because it just... It was spreading, but it wasn't spreading. So it was a weird, I don't know, it was an interesting situation. Like, it's like I liked the way it felt when I put it on my hair, but then as it sat, I didn't like it, but using the heat really helped. So it was just a, it was a lot going on. I'll probably knock this stuff out this year and have it in the end of the year empties. So I'll give you guys a where are we now with this stuff and where it stands when I finish it up. Yeah, maybe it's just because my hair is just in a, in a state right now. Maybe if I try again in like a month and a half, we'll have different results. So it's really important for me to show you guys the good and the not so good in my natural hair journey. So this is definitely a more not so good period, but um, I believe we're going to be okay. And shout out to early 20s me and her starting her YouTube journey. It's so cool to see. Those were the webcam, no good lighting at all. Good old days. I have to go back and rewatch some of those. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little mini walk back through memory lane. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel and boosts it into the YouTube algorithm a lot. Those thumbs up make a big, big difference. Likewise, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so as well. I would love to have you. Remember that I upload videos every Friday with some shorts posted in the meantime, in between time, and I will see you in the next one. Take care guys. Bye!